make that eastward trek. I think uh, we might be watching Gen G in a moment. Uh, of course, we're going to take some, you know, quick, quick shots of our winners of the previous game. S well deserved. Uh, Evan Bluff was right smack dab in the middle of the road at the moment. The firefight's going to break out. Esther already going to be taking low. Sura and then Onyx looking to try to find their way in. Malofo gets himself situated up top. They try to force him back. Pio on this back angle gets a couple hits in, but needs to get this knock, and he will finally line it up. Asuna, however, going to hit the ground. Seize finds that one as Pio puts some pressure on Machao. It's not being found yet, but now Esther going to fall. They look for the oh. finish, but Onyx finds the punish. Barely saves his life. Oh. Finds Kokiri jumping out the window. The reaction from Anonix is absolutely gorgeous. And now it's just Machao left alive. Can he do some damage? Still two members going to be on the ground. Pio rolls up, gets close in with the rest of the team. The revive's coming in. This peak timing right now would be absolutely massive. Smoke <laughs> going to be pushed in. He presses up. He finds an Onyx. It's now just him versus Pio. Pio spots him for just a moment, but he's getting the finishing blows off. Forces him back behind the truck for just a moment, goes for the reload. And of all the players that get taken down, it's a Nonix. Should be able to bounce this if he does it right. He's gonna try to Let's go, and the grenade is good. Pio has saved the rest of his squad. As the revive will come in, but this Man. was unnecessarily brutal, it feels like. I mean, just devastating for both. I mean, that's... That's some juicy loot, but a bit too, uh, a bit too risky. <laughs> All right, well, Perro's just also swinging down the coast, so you know I think Perro's trying to position themselves kind of in a in a pivot point. If it goes, the circle's very unlikely to go towards Los Siones. Oops, here's some shots at not 36. A, I don't not think. A, not a single one hit. Yeah, nothing coming out of that. But Perro's setting up for a pivot point. Again, this circle very unlikely to go to Los Siones, so it's either going to uh, go like south or east. We're just waiting to see where it goes. Well, E36 is rolling up right now. Mings, he's inside. Have they spotted him? Well, they certainly have now. He says hello, but Pure Boy strikes first. And Domino's there to scoop the kill. Whoa! Bill doing what he can to try to peel. He'll manage to make this a trade back as Star-Lord will go down, but it's actually going to be sniped away by Lucky. CTG just denying one from Petrichor Road. So you have plenty of kills. Share with the rest of the class. <laughs> well, it's kind of a one-for-one. One. Behind the sprinkler. As, oh, Gen G rolling up. And Sparrow, no. I think you might have conceded. Yep. Oh, unfortunate. Like we left auto running over <laughs> into that vicinity. The rest of ATA just trying to pile up indoors. But Gen G, I mean, there is no sympathy to be found after they lose out on an Onyx. Got to take what you can get. GEX driving right in the middle of New Happy and heading towards the uh, top side of the, the mine shaft here. That could be a real problem on future rotations. He might just be setting up to just... Uh, catch them on the exit. Uh, you know, his exit paths might basically be covered by V7 sightline. So what else can you do but, you know, rat and see if you can snag a few kills? Oh, Pio. He's got his way in behind GEX. They spotted him. Yes, they have. He lets loose, but Yanli out trades him. Headshot comes in. Pio on the ground, and he is going to be unrecoverable. Uh, there's just no way. You know, this is kind of the, you live by this, you die by this with Gen.G. Yep. Pio is, Pio is want to do those kind of things. Donawa trying to rotate into the center. And there, maybe. They could take Pio's spot. Yeah, I don't know why Pio just didn't stay at this compound, to be honest. That was a great position. He could have got Asura and Esther there with him, potentially, and they could have been defending this Donawa push. Well, looks like uh, Ghibli going to be looking to take things underground. I mean, it worked for Spear one time. He he won a game in a heel off <laughs> down in these <laughs> down in these tunnels. Maybe maybe uh, again history will repeat itself. On oh, boot, being hunted it seems like. Well, now GFY's kind of static positioning has come to bite them a bit. Perro shows up to the party. Lambu stuck 
outside of fence and oh. He stays still, hasn't made a noise. Aixleft goes back inside. But it seems like, it seems like Mill has actually spotted him behind that wall. Big chunk of damage and Mamu's ready for the scoop. Catches him on the flank. That's gonna be a nice blow dealt to GFY. Petra Road picking up yet another kill and making things much better for them to try to finish here in first place. Now, Loom still hanging out by those giant tires. And V7 might just kind of go around him. You know, depending on where they rotate, they, they might not even really cross his path if they swing just a little bit further north. I'm not too sure what they're thinking. Nope, they're gonna drive right by him. Okay. He hasn't opened up. I think he's probably counting the members gone by and says, yeah, I think there's one more. Heaven's looking for something. So there, something has got V7 aware that something like this is possible. Ooh, are they ready for Tongwu though? A lot of damage out on Potosi. Americon taking a bit as well. Lung, it's a great angle. Catches him in the head, so it seems like they weren't quite as prepared as they might have thought. He's turning around, but he's not even sure where the hell the shots are coming from. Heaven will go ahead and finish him off. Americon taking a big hit from the frag grenade. Even more going to be on their way. Does manage to clip in onto him. Slowly gets finished off. Push up over the hill. Corn gonna be melted down. GFY trying to put V7 out of it. Americana will find Tongmu. Tosi is gonna bleed out. So that kill confirmed pushes back up over the top. And that's gonna wow. be 9 11 falling. Veronica 7 will manage to out trade versus GFY. They eliminate them. So no chicken dinners for GFY here at day one. That's yeah, tough with how good the kills have been, but. V7 here doing a pretty nice job. Kill. Yeah, a pretty nice job stabilizing off of this. Americano has been really darn good this tournament. I mean, I GFY, mean, no matter what, will be finishing in money range right now for day one. Yeah, that's true. So they at least have that going for them. And they have to just come back and refocus tomorrow, but still a very strong showing from them. Yeah, I mean, look, GFY is in a good position for tomorrow no matter what. Yeah. It, it, that many kills is just going to put you in a solid spot to do well. E36 is circling the wagons a little bit. Give oh the defending GEX is push into the tunnels. Nate's coming out. It's going to be a one-for-one one knock so far. Oh. Managed to find the kill on the SSR. And that little elimination. Locks lock is so very low. Yanli gets melted. There's a fine finish. Just sitting on. He's got to pull away. I don't... I don't fully get what GEX is doing here. Nor do I. Why would you push in? You can just gatekeep. Yes, watch the exit. Kind of like what he's doing now. That's fine. That's what, yeah. I don't know, man. That, this one leaves me, again, scratching my head a bit with GEX. I mean, I know there might be teams pushing on top of you, it's but. Two rounds in a row now. Yeah. I mean, that's such a defendable position for Ghibli. And yeah, you. Climbs out. I mean, they're, I mean, they know. they're perfectly aware of it. Spear will finish him off. Ghibli annihilates GEX, and they come out in 14th position. So already three teams gone. Ghibli, I think, you know, pretty aware that there's, if they didn't hear New Happy, that they are probably there anyway. You can see there is this sort of side tunnel that New Happy actually went in. I don't know if I've ever seen a team use this in PUBG. Well, they're looking to change it up a bit. V7's been duking it out here against Dom1. Now they find a second knock, Makne. Down on the ground as well. There's, I believe, under. Yeah. The other one to fall. V7 looking to make a last minute run back here. At the end of day one. Yeah, gets on top of Mad Lash. That will fall. Under going to get finished off by Americano. Spin just looks to hold this position. Tries to cut off the flank here with some smoke. Horn, he's ready to push. Makes his way up, spots him, but he get the shot through. Can't get a finish on him. Quite a bit of damage coming out as they kind of get bundled up on top of each other, and Korn will fall. He had smoke coming out, but as Bean tries to provide some cover, he will get picked off, and now it's just on Loki. Even with the miscommunication here, B7 stabilizes. Loki gets one. But he's not going to be good for a second. Americana will strike in time, and now he can go ahead and pick up both of his teammates. So V7's still going to be alive with three members. They're playing with fire. Absolutely are. Now they got a decent little ways to try to cut into the circle, which will put them right between Donawa and Petrocore Road. New Happy back into some vehicles. 
They're gonna be driving down towards this southern side of the circle, but CTG are waiting for them. Not a lot of damage, though. Percent on to Don. They go for the second spray, but he doesn't find too much. Lucky will be good for one. Nox a chest, but Ming responds in kind of find Lucky, and Mill will go ahead and third party for the kill seal. Yeah, New Happy trying to get down, kind of out of the other two members, spread out a bit. Make sure they all don't go down. Find a crossfire here. Grenades out on top of CTG, but grenades in their face. A good response here. CTG's fighting on two fronts. Yeah, they are. MCG comes piling in. They will find Monkey King, alleviating a bit of pressure here for New Happy. They're not in CP. Still going to be standing. Push up over the top of the hill. 5B looking to get those shots in. Goes down to 1 HP, and CP presses in. Gets the kill secured. Wrap around from Ling Chung. Does manage to knock Nan. Tries to back away, but CP pursues. Finds that knock, but now they are out here stranded. Shots flying through. Ming tries to throw down some smoke to provide some cover to get this res off, but New Happy now down to two members, and the nades come flying in. Oh, that should be just oh, almost good enough. Not quite enough, but they still have plenty more to let loose with. And this one, they'll do it. Evil Lee will go ahead and get the finish as New Happy gets eliminated in 11th place. Yeah, good work here by MCG to clean up uh, what some of the other teams started. Now, E36 kind of pinned in between Peril and MCG. Not ideal for sure. Here comes Ghibli. That means now that Petrichor can only be overtaken by a team getting a, you know, a Another second chicken dinner. dinner. Yeah. New Happy cannot win out in kills. Ghibli is going to make a an attempt to displace MCG here, but oh, Summer tears Spear apart. There's another one, Adder goes down to tank. This push not going so well for Ghibli. And oh, hey Esther, there. hello. Gen G. I forgot you were still here. Actually, Lingdu got the knock with a bolt there. <laughs> okay, well, Esther and Osara still somewhat hanging on here by a thread. Rumba tucked in against these vehicles. Maltov comes out, he's gonna start burning down, and that's just gonna be him saying goodnight. Ghibli will get eliminated at 10th as MCG making a bit of a run back here. Great hold. Very well trying to find a second chicken dinner. They still have four left alive. Yeah, phenomenal hold, and now they can kind of just control the eastern side of that hill and just wait this out for a bit, see where the next one goes. ATA still in great shape. Uh, three up. Soul. Oh, salute too. Oh, salute's on Gen G. Ooh, man, Donawa has got to be feeling the pressure there. They know that ATA is on the other side of that hill, and if ATA starts peeking over it, uh, their their flanks are going to be very exposed. So they have to hit this house. They're getting on top of it. Esther and Asura, though, relatively for free. Asura wasn't watching that back angle. Now you've got three members of Donawa pushed up into this house to try and contend with him. Frag Grenade is out. Tries to lob that one down the stairs. Altov will go out to try to buy some time. He got a decent amount of damage through. Esther's coming around the side. Let's see if he can relieve a bit oh. of the pressure. Oh, he actually found one. That's going to be Leclo. That's big. Five's going to be used. Can they take advantage of this timing? Seems like the answer is going to be no. So the revive should come in. Now the pressure on Yunjung to buy some time. Here goes E36. Uh, sneaking up behind them is Peril. E36, I'm sure, must have some ideas there. Asura just comes down on top of Yunjung. He's not ready for it. Sprays down one, but he doesn't have too many bullets left in the clip. But Esther has arrived as well. Salute gonna be knocked to the floor. Asura peeks out. Esther gonna get knocked by Soul. Leclo also up here for Donna as they look to try to turn this one around, but Soul actually dropped by Monzora. Asura just holds the door, and I can't believe they've actually managed to make this happen. They need to provide some cover for themselves, though, as here comes 17 Gaming. Xiaobe comes crashing up. Esther is still gonna be on the floor, and Asura says, sorry, but I gotta let you go. There's not much else he can do here. Only two smokes. No other utility to, to speak of. Now, there is enough smoke obscuring these stairs. You, you can see through it with the x-ray on, but uh, 17, you know, can't really tell. I mean, they probably know he's up there, but they no one can see each other. So B7. B7 might just wrap right behind Barrow. Just hit him in the butt. Oh, boy. They spot x left. Oscar does go down off screen, but now x left going to get shot in the head. Evan knocks him. They find Mill as well. B7 finally, so likely feeling vindicated to get a bit of revenge. Mamu in the meantime, not sure really what to do. Knows that two of his members just got knocked behind him. Let's a nade go out. Americano net himself a fifth kill in this map. I like that he's getting aggressive on this. He's moving up, prepared. Kind of had the read on it, kind of hurt him, but Raining still manages to get the jump. Gets that elimination. Petrichor Road will go out in seventh.
Yeah, Mamu does the best he can in a bad situation. Great timing there from V7 to swing behind Paro. Great patience, great identification of what Paro is doing. That's that's just good reconnaissance and good decision making there. MCG still able to control their side of the circle. Really not much pressure on them. Everyone else uh, bottlenecked uh, towards the center or on the other sides of it. So they can just kind of chill out for now, put some shots into E36, maybe get a little bit of damage. E36 is going to share that compound with 17 up on the hill. And it's going to be just kind of a... Uh, a standoff for now is uh, each team has people to deal with. 17 is ATA. Uh, Mad's just kind of hiding. Uh, Mad's not really being too active right now. ATA is, of course, shooting at stuff there. They're not They're not happy unless bullets are flying. Getting down to the wire now. As the circle gets ready to finish closing in. And something tells me that MCG and V7 are not going to be happy with what happens next. I, I was going to say, there's... Basically, the only thing this circle can do is keep that compound in it. Even if it hard shifts down to the south, it's still going to be, you know, 17 and E36 inside of it. Still one more shift to go, uh, but it could end just, like, right in the middle of this compound, which would be nuts. Those are always yeah. fun. <laughs> Hope you have a lot of smokes. Three members of Matt up on the north side. V7, just a little bit of a fan out here playing down in this defilade. Raining has started getting a little bit more aggressive. He's shifting into a southern position to try to get on top of V7, as well as MCG. They still have this vehicle, though. They're going to start cruising forward. Motorcycle is well utilized. Korn goes to the peak. They will find Evil Leech. Confirm that kill, but Korn is going to bob and weave. Manages to hit the ground with just nine HP remaining. Puts himself down to the dip, but they're looking for this killing blow on to Evil Lee to try to confirm it. But Heaven gets traded back as Amanok gets in the fight. Frag grenade not quite going to go far enough. Hit the tree. So Korn will be able to get top back up. In the meantime, Xiaobei finds Deva. Just two members of MAD left standing. Now, Tank has to abandon uh, his teammate. There's just not much they can do. Ling Du caught trying to get somewhere. And oh, he's going to turn on Korn. The turn fire is going to be good, and he finishes him off as well. He's going to leave V7 with just Americano left standing. Ling Du, however, does fall down, and Indigo gets that killing blow. No smokes to speak of, nowhere to go. Americano and Veronica 7 go out in sixth place. The E36 doing a really nice job with those snipers, getting involved in those fights, picking up some kills for themselves, you know, adding some big damage here on Miramar. Again, they've already gotten a win. They're in a decent spot to get another one. They very well could do it. They could win two games on, on Miramar here today, Achilleos. Might be able to make it happen, but 17 Gaming, they've got a full squad still standing, and they've absolutely stepped up here in this last round. I mean, you think about it, they were at one kill just two rounds ago, and now they come in here, they're at 15. There's a lot of pressure on 17, not just to do well this week, but they're a team that's kind of on the bubble for qualifying for the global. So they're, they're really, really, really looking for a win here, and they haven't had, they haven't been able to put up a ton of kills today, so this has kind of been an up and down tournament for 17. We know there's a ton of potential on there. They can get it done. They, they were able to take, you know, maybe the better compound. It just kind of depends on what the final circle does here. Yeah, yeah. a it slightly better in. one, yeah. ATA, gonna be nicely positioned though. They at least don't have to worry about getting in. MCG and Matt, however, I mean, Matt's gonna cross the street, which just seems like such an impossible task. Not sure how many smokes they have left if any. Well, I think you can find enough of an angle if they can, if they oh, can swing a little bit further up, but I don't know. Ooh. Wow. What? Unreal from Indigo. Indigo. That's not fair. Not at all. Disgusting shots. Oh, that's, yes, that's beautiful. Perfect. Suju putting Ian down to the ground. Says, okay, let's go for the twofer. Yeah, this should be... Whoa! Ooh. A little bit too far. I mean, decent read on where two tap was at, but doesn't get the damage through. You can see he wants to try to go for this res, but did they see him approach? Because if they did, could just be another frag grenade cook getting sent their way. Yeah, they might get a little help from ATA, but regardless for Matt, I'd, uh, look, you're gonna need a lot, a lot of smokes to get through uh, off of this rock. A lot. Do you have 10? I think maybe maybe eight will get it done. It's gonna be a lot, and once you get over there, you have problems because the, the, the side of the house there's not much you can do from there. Look at that; it's just flat, nothing. 
and ATA is probably going to have angles on you when you get there. And out in the road, spotted. Spray through the smoke, just looking for the finish. We'll nearly have it. He's just desperately trying to crawl back over here, get the two tap, but he's bleeding out too quickly. It's just nothing that can be done. It will fall down. Pure boy to be knocked. Trade back there from Multi Circle Gaming, who are trying to stay in this. Two tap running out of time. He's going to have to get himself out into the street here pretty soon, or just let himself go to the blue. He's going to try to go for a run, but. Cannot make it very far. Show cuts him down. Matt is out at fifth, and we're down to our final four teams. 17 Gaming still sat inside of this house. Four members strong. Wow, they just are able to get that res on Pure Boy in time. Get him up the stair, and see if they can defend this house. MCG here, they can't really push this side if 17 watches it, but they're busy Whoa. with ATA. Yeah, raining, barely manages to get in behind the tree. Look for the decent cook and the long lob here onto the frag grenades, and it's pretty decent. And we'll find raining. Not going to be able to get the follow up in to go ahead and guarantee the kill, but the likelihood of being able to safely get a res off here seems so low. He's still going to go for it as he lays down a smoke. Zora gets in there, but there's plenty more frag grenades to be let loose, and everybody is stacked up in a similar area right now. Moxora taken very low. How? Should be able to get this res off, though. He's going to go in deep for the med kit just to get topped up. Smokes continue to fly. Shall bait with one more frag grenade. Can he end this man's career? No. Wow. I mean, ATA by the skin of their teeth, but a headshot from Shao Bay puts Max Zora right back behind that hill. Yep. Molotovs a plenty flying out. Smokes as well just to provide cover. Pure boy gets some revenge. Finds the tank, but then he's gonna get dropped by show. 17 gaming, looking to make it happen. The elimination and it goes down as well. I'm not managing to find that. He gets straight back. Summer takes out two members before falling. Multi circle gaming out at fourth. Five kills here for show alone. His E36 also falls out at third. 4v3 ATA trying to make it happen, but raining will fall. Shadow goes down. It's all on Moxora. Takes a bit of damage. He tries this.